Here we go. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 54 Array. In today's episode, we re-entered with the thought on our mind, where do ideas come from? It seems like sometimes they're memories of tunes, sometimes it's things we're hearing under immediate circumstances. And then we have this interesting concept from physics called zero-point energy. So we made a concept diagram, and the idea here is that there's kind of a dialogue between ideas which are gleams in our ear and eye on the left hand side and then things that have actually been put over here on a on a score or have been recorded as a mp3 file and they're they kind of go back and forth uh, so what we did is we went ahead and kept working on our summer arcs composition and we had been working with this one from the last stream which is all piano and then we felt like there was a little bit of a, 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 a lilting there needed some continuity it's kind of like um, space um, space so we wanted to put a little um, uh, carryover in there so we used Reaper and put in a little bit of delay effect so uh, the way we did that is we added a 30 second note delay it was as if we had copied the score down to a whole nother set of lines and nudged them all over by one of those little notes down right there. Uh, then we also experimented with changes in timbres and got this. And in doing that, we had to change our dynamics quite a bit and make the the, uh, the pentatonic parts a lot softer. And then so we went in here and we made that. And so it's very cool. The, the, the little 30 second delay turns the marimba into 64th notes and then kind of adds some kind of continuity and if you look at you see a lot more dynamic variation here in the timbres version whereas down here this version is uh, all the same all the time all the way across so what we're going to do is play for you the uh, timbres with delay and here we go So that concludes today's stream. What we really like about seeing it in Reaper, um, you can really see the difference that changing timbres made. When it was piano, the piano has a fast decay. There's like a tack, 
decay, sustain, release, and the piano has a very low, uh, if you don't hold the pedal down, and here um, the the woodwinds are, are making it carry across, so there's not this big empty sound in the middle. Uh, it also shows the effect of changing our uh, dynamics quite a bit. So our ideas for next time are to keep working with summer arcs, pentatonic, hexatonic, uh, looking at some ideas there, and keep working with Reaper and Magic Explorations, because they that's all part of this dialogue up here, going back and forth. You know, for example, we tried bassoon, and then we took it away, and we tried glock, and then we took it away and went to marimba. So there's kind of a dialogue in your mind of ideas and then seeing them, hearing them, realize, and then feeding back in. Shout outs to DVA Mechanics who came back, Dardix Live, and Lucas Jewell. Thank you so much. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.